Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to the Raiders, the fine folks who helped make this series possible. With special thanks to a nerd in war paint, Antonio Hernandez, Matthew Holmquist, Nathan Welch Jr., and Valen Rook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Wasteland 3, as we complete our little meet and greet around the bazaar. Now, I believe we only have three people left to talk to, so that should hopefully leave us enough time to get back up top, go check on the refugees, and then hopefully finish clearing the rest of the ruins. Fingers crossed. For all that it might be swaddled in dirty, mismatched fabric, this figure is clearly anything but human. At your approach, it straightens with a creak of rusted gears and presses a palm to the Nixon mask over its face. As I live and eat cherry pie, more of my fellow humans in the bazaar. You make yourself welcome now, you hear? He scratches behind his mask's plastic ear. His shirt shifts to reveal a coil device on his chest. An impressive-looking piece of tech. Fellow humans? Okay, um, tell us about yourself. Well, gosh, an apple pies. You've put me in a spot. Let's see. My name is Long John, and I'm old as dirt. I've traveled a little, but nowhere interesting. Now I'm here in the bazaar, just to see what life has to offer. Make friends. Wasn't something that I got to do when I was younger, what with my job and all. There was no time to make friends, none at all. But I'm making up for it. I know everyone in the bazaar, and they know me. Hmm, I'll bet. Why don't you, uh, tell us about your travels? I'll tell you youngins what I can. Despite the fact I'm old as the mountains, figuratively speaking, that is. Humans rarely live past 70, and I'm just about ready to expire. <laughs> I don't know everything, you hear? Even though I've walked all the way from Denver to Steel Town and back again. Do you have any stories about Colorado Springs? Colorado Springs? That's an all right place. A little uptight, but that's what you get from having all of the hundred families there. I like the scientists and engineers, though. Real clever kids. Have you been to the Plains? No, uh -huh. Place like that ain't fit for the lonely traveler. Well, you might be all right. If you do decide to go in that direction, I've heard that it's gotten real dangerous. What can you uh, tell us about Steel Town? Steel Town? That place is an industrial nightmare. Raging fires all around. Melts right through this t t t skin. Gives me the shivers, you hear? Yeah, I get it. I, too, often worry about my... St skin. Tell us about Denver. I'd stay away from the city. It's nothing but a corpse these days, and the Gippers, well, they're not a bad lot per se, but I'd be careful around them. If you have to spend some time, I'd personally visit the airport instead. The young'uns there are wonderful. Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, talk about something else. You kids these days and your limited attention spans. 
What can you tell us about the people in the bazaar? Some of it is real private, and some of it probably should be. But you young whippersnappers tell everyone everything. He taps the side of his bulbous plastic nose. Like Peridolia Jones? He's probably the best damn caravan master in the bazaar. But his business would be better if he knew how to keep his mouth shut. Between you and me, if I was afraid of ducks, I wouldn't tell a soul. Really driving that, uh, duck thing home, huh? <laughs> Weird. I'm assuming that if we had actually found a duck somewhere, we could have used it to strong-arm Jones into helping us with the refugee situation. Obviously not an issue for us. So, why are you trying to pretend you're not a synth? Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle, just like you, Rangers. Shucks, I even have dreams all the time. Technicolor dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Synths don't do that. Okay, that is a valid point. But I'm not entirely convinced just yet. I still think you might be a synth. I'm not a synth. Why, well, just last night I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and brash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. I also enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Oh, man. I do enjoy toasted eggs. Hmm. Okay, well, what about the mask? Look, we can see the strings. Oh, you kids and your humor. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, would they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> he hesitates. All right, fine. I am a synth, but you can't tell anyone. Aha! You almost had me fooled, but you made one fatal misstep. Admitting you were a synth. So, uh, why are you so afraid? Because most humans can't tell a toaster from a synthetic with feelings. Uh, listen, I love your kind, your urgency, your need to take life by the horns. You burn so bright, but I've been singed before. Hmm. You're clever ones, and bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. Oh, yeah, that uh, did, in fact, completely remove the topic from our uh, list of options. I can't imagine the monsters would react very well if we just shot this guy. I guess we'll just back off for now and uh, see if anything else pops up in the future. See you around, John. So soon? I suppose even good things gotta end sometime. You be safe now, you hear? And come back to see old Long John when you can. Will do. Best of luck to you. Strange. Very strange. Can we check out Pichatelli's shop next? Staring at us again. Don't make eye contact. Maybe he'll go away. <laughs> hey, pals. Finn is the name. If you need a drink, you've come to the right place. If you got questions, well, I suppose that's okay, too. So, 
How about that exploding pig? Between you and me, I've been partaking in some taste tests during my shift, so everything is a little blurry at the moment. I did hear a loud boom, but I figured it was just a thunderstorm. Cool. So what can you tell me about this place? Not much. I'm pretty new. Just started a week ago. Rumor has it the old bartender mysteriously vanished into thin air. Anyway, this place is something for everyone. Guns, armor, food, meds, entertainment, and most importantly, booze! If you're here to work for Flab, then he might be able to tell you more. One thing's for sure. There's something weird going on here. You don't say. What can you tell us about Flab? Flab the Inhaler is the man who is large and in charge of the bazaar. And I ain't kidding you when I say large. From what I've seen, he's always in his office, just up the stairs. What did you mean by something weird? Ah, uh, I don't know. I suppose everyone's on edge, you know? They're all putting on brave faces like things are normal, but I can tell something is wrong. Just don't know quite what. Might be the, uh, missing people? The exploding pigs? But what do I know? I'm not a local. Anyway, what's on tap? Only the finest drinks on earth. Press X for doubt. Yeah, that's actually pretty mediocre. I think Masato had a better selection. Okay, one more to go. I got this soap. Dr. Cold Cuts, kid. This young, red-headed man is decked out with tools, ready for work. He turns to you, not pausing his fervent chewing. Hey, strangers. I don't suppose you're here to help with the troubles down below. If you are, talk to Flab. But if you want to talk cars, I'm your guy. Randy's the name, local master mechanic. A mechanic? Cool! Jody, you want to uh, join the rest of us? What can you tell us about the troubles in the bazaar? Nothing much, really. Something's been prowling the Warrens, killing anyone who goes down there. Some big beastie? Uh, the suicide pig's got something to do with it, but I don't know what. Sorry, not much help, I know. Actually, you are the first person to give us a completely straight answer. I appreciate that. So, you like working here? Not particularly. It's boring work. I only get pulled in if something breaks that a tender can't fix, so I spend most of my time just waiting here, like I'm doing now. But beggars can't be choosers. Fair. I don't suppose you'd be interested in a job as a mechanic at Ranger HQ. No offense, but you're a gamble in a hard luck casino. Don't like working in the bazaar, but it's constant money, and I need that right now. See? That is also fair. Some months ago, my dad wrote me that he thought he'd seen folks skulking around our homestead. I dismissed it. Our place has always been isolated and safe. Stupid. Turns out it was a small band of one of them crazy planes gangs. They sent me a letter. My parents are dead, and they're holding my kid brother and sister hostage. I, I ain't even close to having enough money to pay the ransom. Even if I did, I suspect they'd just kill us all after I pay. So what's a guy to do? Well, we uh, could go get your family for you. I'm not one to condone violence, but I've heard of what you folks have been doing all across Colorado. Whatever you think is needed. Progressively more intense chewing. Let me show you where to find our old homestead. I'll meet you there. You help out the Get family and I'll work for you, no doubt about it. See you there. It don't take too long, okay? Will do, Randy. Though, uh, it does always make me a little nervous when they attach some implied urgency like that. Makes me worry that there is a hidden timer. Anyway, I think we're about ready to head up top. 
but let's hit the pause button real quick so I can do some uh, last minute spot shopping. I want to go back and take another look at those mods and uh, maybe upgrade a couple of the new weapons we just picked up. We'll be right back. And we're back. I sold off a few more weapons, picked up some mods, and slapped a couple of low-tier extended clips into our sniper rifles. But not much else to report. Let's go uh, see how those refugees are doing. Okay. Gotta say, Paradolia Jones works quick. But that's fine. Gives us more time for the ruins. Hmm. Looks like this ramp is our only option. So I guess we're headed that way. Visco Elastic Plates. Tier 4 plus 6% evasion. That's not loot. Huh. Weird. I guess it was just bait. Didn't that odd guy say something about a red balloon? Let's be on our guard. There, see how easy that is? Not bad, cabron. Now do it again. Bullseye. That's more like it. All right, doll. Can't wait until Eso es bueno. We'll make a killer out of you yet. Generator. Oh yeah, that one is Tom Muerto. Payaso letter. Good shot, cabron. Now you're getting it. You're ready for some live targets now! The madre, you killed Willy! <laughs> <laughs> well, one less to worry about. Cabron, you call yourself a payaso? Damn, cabron! How many bullets you got in that thing? Andale, hey, who taught you how to got shoot? Company. Oh, shoot! Shoot! They saw us. Okay, so there was also a proximity trigger. Kind of unfair, but it is what it is. Rally. Oh, good. I think it actually worked properly that time. Huh. 
I think we'll start by going after those barrels. They are very conspicuously placed. Nice. That's minus four AP on both of those guys. Very nice. Oh, uh, I did slap a low tier choke on that scorcher, so plus one meter range. Hey, Major Tom has finally deigned to join us. Under the cover of smoke, they fall to a flurry of feathers and fangs. Slightly harder to hit these guys with ranged weapons, but let's see if we can offset that smoke a little. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. Uh, right, guys? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, I would say those new sniper rifles were a good investment. Of course, the downside to actually having the zoo crew participating is that it's a bit harder to place these template attacks. For goodness sake. I think that's our most ridiculous crit yet.
Lovely. You're fine. Now, let's have a look at that letter we snagged. Much obliged. Payaso letter. This document has a military seeming letterhead but it's covered in uneven scribbling and stamped with the symbol of a clown. Group Chuckle Fox. The outside is cold and full of dangers. You are the finest clowns of the Clown Academy, and your daddy has faith in you to take on our most dangerous mission. Establish an outpost at the toy warehouse. Safeguard the Tooth Fairy. Enemies are coming, and they will be many. And don't any of you chuckle fucks dare die out there. If anyone dies, I'll fucking kill ya. Commodore Clown Ditso Gogo. -Go. Signature joke. Why did the clown cross the road? To get his rubber chicken. I feel like he might have uh, phoned that last bit in, but sure. This toy appears to be a lookout, observing the operations of the monster army. So obviously we have a bit of a clown infestation. Nothing we haven't dealt with before. We'll have to see if we can uh, track down this tooth fairy. Whoever or whatever that might be. I'm sure it's something horrifying. Oh, that is uh, clearly a buried rooftop. I like that. It's a nice little uh, environmental detail. Autosave just pinged. And look at that. There's our red balloon. Slowly clipping in and out of the terrain. Rubber ducky. A bit late to matter now. And mines. Strange. You'd think they'd have uh, those out on the side facing the monster army. Careful. Might be clowns in there. Ah, and that would be why they needed the mines. Though I like the fact that Jody's main concern is still clowns. Can't blame her. Now we dealt with drools on our way out of Colorado Springs. Oh, and we do have more clowns. Including what I am assuming is the Tooth Fairy. Great. A clown dentist. Hmm. There does seem to be a back entrance to this place, but... I'm not seeing how it connects to the rest of the map. Okay, well, I think we've got time for one more big fight, so... 
Let's go for the clowns. They do seem like the more intriguing of the two. We'll save the drools for next time. Let's get a better look at these guys. Seems like a pretty standard mix. Um, seven, eight, counting Dr. Smiles. We have sparse cover, but it should be enough to get us by. Okay, short range fighters parked near the door. Let's make sure Tom is close enough to hold his interest. We'll have to put at least half the squad near this low counter here. That'll give them line of sight to this lone trickster. But they might have to move after that. Actually, the uh, angle's not that bad. She might be able to... Oh, hold, <laughs> hold on. These guys aren't actually hostile. Yet. Alright, let's do some shuffling. There we go. This man is tearing teeth from the corpse on the dental chair in front of him. He turns to you with a maniacal grin, revealing a face covered in blood and clown makeup. Hola, mamon. Bienvenidos to Dr. Smile's orthodontic practice. Think of me as your friendly dental dilettante, a cultivator of cuspids. Do you have an appointment for full teeth extraction service? No. Um, only the cuspids? What about the other teeth? Ah, oh, delightful! A fellow connoisseur! Don't fret, cuspids are my favorite, but I'll gladly take all your teeth. Now, you have an appointment, yes? Well, I'm pretty sure we all know where this is going, so... No, but you have an appointment with death. No, no, your teeth will be mine! You want to brawl? Knock yourselves out. All right, Team November. Let's kill some clowns. Oh, uh, except for Bonkers. Don't kill him. Lovely. Three debuffs with a single shot. Turret deployed. Angle is slightly problematic. We'll tuck it in the corner. Go ahead and knock out this trickster. Very nice. Glad to see Bonkers isn't going easy on his brethren.
Now it's marginally safer to move long way up. It is tempting to deploy a decoy, but I'm really hoping the turret will hold their attention. is a doctor. Kind of. Damn, yes, fly my pretties. Though it does appear that Tom is sitting this one out. Let's offset that smoke. That's fine. Odds weren't really in our favor. I wish you could uh, modify the ammo cap on flamethrowers. There we go. That's slightly better. way. I think we're gonna have you fall back, buddy. Let's go ahead and trim those arms. Prep for incoming. And here we go. Got a beat on them. And... 
Major Tom has joined the fray. Well, that man's dead. Okay, I think we've got this. to clown doctors, there can only be one. Too tangled up for throwers. Sneaking a shot here. That should do. Yeah, that works too. Polly, you okay there, buddy? You know, if there was any time to be unleashing a torrent of profanity, this would be it. I appreciate your restraint. A cannon is certainly one way to extract teeth. Storage unit 109 key. Hmm. Dental pick. Something about this jagged, rusty spear makes you question the dentist's credentials. You think? Chemtech Helmet. A computer voice in the helmet provides an update on your physical status every 30 minutes. It cannot be disabled. Can't say the bonuses are terribly appealing, but plus 8 armor, that's pretty solid. Not bad. Uzi. Bran HMG. Wow, okay. Hmm, I feel like we uh, lucked out a little there. Hold five weapons, though obviously some of them were hand-placed. I know we pulled some level-ups, too. One for Jody. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and get that new helmet equipped. I will be sad to see the speed bonus on the Murder Cross helmet go, but let's be honest, I think we're going to get more mileage out of an extra five points of armor.
Let's see what else we've got here. Trauma plate insert. Since the war, trauma plate technology has evolved. These neo ceramic inserts provide considerable reinforcement to torso armor. Plus six armor. <laughs> Not too shabby. Though, really, I'm just happy to get something that's not an auto dock. Interesting. And I suppose that solves the mystery of how the Payasos are getting into the Warrens. Huh. Red Locker. Crossboom. Dynamite stick quarrels may take a second to explode, but they're worth the wait. <laughs> How else are you going to stab someone from far away? Well, that is very appealing. I mean, not exactly an even trade-off for an actual assault rifle, but I do feel compelled to at least give it a shot. Yeah, higher individual shot damage, but we lose the burst mode, and we have a much lower ammo cap. Though the damage does come in two waves, because presumably the projectiles explode after you actually hit. Um, okay, well, we do have some spare extended mags, so... Yeah, let's slap one on and give this thing a shot. Worst case scenario, we wasted a low-tier mod. Looking good, Bonks. I'm actually really looking forward to trying that thing out. Oh, and a law rocket launcher. Hey, look at that. And it's an actual upgrade, too. Wow, the uh, loot tables are really being generous today. Yeah, I guess this was really just a loot cache. Hey, and a second trauma plate. Fantastic. Uh, 
Oh, you know what? I forgot to check that body when we came in. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. This would have been our alternate source of a pass if we hadn't gone to Paris first. All right, folks. Once again, we are well past time, so I think this brings us to a pretty good stopping point. But, um, you know, we made some solid progress. We cleared out the surface piassos. We found some pretty solid loot. Not to mention, I saw a fox in that room back behind us. I am sorely tempted to stack a few extra points of Animal Whisperer on someone, just so we can grab that. Anyway, we will uh, hit the pause button for now, but we will pick up here next time. As we tend to the slavering pack of mutants waiting around the corner, and then descend into the nightmarish warrens to deal with the twisted pigmen that await. There's something very familiar about this scenario. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Wasteland 3, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube and Twitch channels, the official social media feeds, or the official store pages. As always, links are in the description. Your teeth will be mine!